In today's video, we're going to talk about net forces. So first, let's remind ourselves, what is a force? A force is a push or a pull on an object. Newton's first law says that an object in motion will stay in motion and an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside unbalanced force. The key is an unbalanced force. So it's going to keep doing what it's doing as long as the forces are balanced. Unbalanced is going to change. Newton's second law explains how it's going to change. An unbalanced force will cause an object to accelerate. And we'll remember that accelerate is a change in speed or a change in direction. Newton's second law is explained with the formula uh, force equals mass times acceleration. So if we take a look at this ball, it has 10 newtons of force being applied to it. So we know that if there's 10 newtons being applied to this ball, there's no other forces over here, that this, there's 10 newtons going this way. What do we know is true about this ball? It is accelerating. It is going to be changing its speed or its direction. It's accelerating in this direction. Now if we look over here at this ball, we see there's 10 newtons to the right, but there's also 10 newtons to the left. So 10 newtons minus 10 newtons, because they are opposite one another, leaves us with a net force of 0 newtons. So this one is balanced. Right? When it's balanced, newtons first law says that it's going to keep doing whatever it was doing. So all that we can say about this one, it's not accelerating, so it's moving at a constant speed. That speed may be zero, or that speed might be a thousand meters per second. We don't know. All that we know is that it's moving at a constant speed. In this case, we have 10 newtons to the right and 30 newtons to the left. So 30 newtons minus, because they're opposite, minus 10 newtons would give me 20 newtons. So the overall net force on this is 20 newtons to the left. We have to always give the direction of the force. So we know, again, like this one with an unbalanced force, it is accelerating. It's accelerating, in this case, it's accelerating to the left. And then finally, if we look at this one, we have a 10 newton push force on the left and a 10 newton pull force on the right. They are working together. They're on opposite sides, but they're working together. So we're going to add those together. So 10 newtons plus 10 newtons is going to give me 20 newtons. Again, we're going to say that this is accelerating because it is an unbalanced force. Here we have a hedgehog sitting on a table. Right? Gravity is pulling down on that hedgehog. Now, if gravity was the only force, this hedgehog would be falling down and accelerated. But he's not. He's just sitting there, not moving at all. So we know that he, the forces on him must be balanced. He's at a constant speed. So where is that other force coming from? This is what we call the normal force. So the normal force is this force that's resisting gravity. However much gravity is pulling down, the normal, normal force is pushing back up to match it. Okay, so whenever you're standing on the, on the ground, gravity is pulling down on you with a certain amount of force, but the normal force is pushing back up with an equal amount, which is why this hedgehog is sitting here standing still. Here we have an airplane, which is moving forward with 80,000 newtons of force. Drag all of the air that's hitting the wings and hitting the airplane is applying 80,000 newtons of force. That's the friction. It's resisting movement. The wings are lifting the airplane up with 60,000 newtons of force, and the weight of the airplane is pulling it down. Gravity is pulling down with 60,000 newtons of force. Well, what do we know to be true then about this airplane? Okay, 60,000 up and 60,000 down, those cancel out, so there's zero newtons of net force up and down. 80,000 forward and 80,000 drag the opposite direction, so there's zero newtons of force moving it forward or back. So the net forces on this airplane are zero. Does that mean that this airplane isn't moving? Well, for the sake of these passengers, I sure hope not. What it means is that this airplane 
is moving at a constant speed. Balanced forces mean that it's moving at a constant speed. What are the net forces on this box? You may want to pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own. We know that there's 100 newtons of force pulling down and 100 newtons of force pushing up. So we know 100 newtons minus 100 newtons gives it me zero. So we know that these forces right here cancel out. They are balanced. It is not accelerating in this direction either way. We know there's 200 newtons of force pushing to the right and 100 newtons of force pushing to the left. So we know there's 200 minus 100 newtons of force. So the net force is 100 newtons of force. And since the stronger force is pushing to the right, we know it's 100 newtons of force pushing to the right. So is this object accelerating? If so, how much and in what direction? So we're going to see here that we have the mass of this box is 25 kilograms. We know that there's 100 newtons pushing to the right and 100 newtons pushing to the left. So we should know 100 newtons minus 100 newtons. We recognize that these are balanced. There's 100 newtons pushing up and 100 newtons pushing down and an additional 50 newtons pushing down. Right? We can see that this 100 newtons and this 100 newtons are going to cancel each other out. So now we're left with a net force of 50 newtons and we know that that net force is pushing down. We know that the mass is 25 kilograms. Right? You can see that we're writing down our givens. Our unknown, we want to know is it accelerating. Accelerating, we don't know. Our formula, force equals mass times acceleration. So our acceleration is going to be 2 meters per second squared. If you're not sure about this calculation, go back and check some of our earlier videos. Now, I want you to try this one. If we give you these forces right here, I want to know what is the acceleration.